This tutorial is powered by AskQuesty.com. Get help with your website on demand. And don't forget, subscribe for more tutorials. How to change your WordPress website's domain name. Now at first glance, it may seem very simple to change your WordPress website domain name. For example, here's a website. Ooh, it takes a while. So here's a website. And when you navigate into the dashboard and head down to settings and going to general, you'll notice over here that there's an option where you can change your WordPress domain name. And you would imagine, okay, so over here you can change it to a new domain name, preferably one that you own, and then you can just change your new domain and click save changes. But actually what happens is when you do this, you'll break your website. So this is what you don't want to be doing. All right, that's what you don't want to be doing. Um, changing a WordPress domain name is actually pretty complicated and more so than it would seem. So what do I mean? Well, the best way to think of it is like this. So I have the front end of my website over here. And I also have the back end of my website, which is over here. Okay, front end, back end. So if you open this up, you would imagine this is how it looks like. Okay, so this is the front end of my website. And this is the back end of my website. So, okay. So this one is a web host, and this one is a WordPress. Okay. So what this does. Um, no, actually, this is a, this is a domain, domain name, and this is a web host container that, container holding WordPress. Okay, so this is how you imagine it. This is the front end. Um, this is just a domain name pointing to a WordPress, uh, WordPress, uh, web host container. So you'd imagine that this is what really happens. The domain name is pointing to the web host. So you would think that you can just create a new domain, you would just have a new domain, and then you can just drag it over and point it to, point it to the same, to the same uh, web host container. And then you can break off, you can break off this, uh, this branch. But that's actually not how it works. In fact, it's, in fact, it's not that simple to take this new domain and point it over to this uh, web host. So think of it like this, right? So there's um, so this is a person, okay? The person has a person has a body, right? And so the okay, so if you think about the web host as a person's body, right? A person is a body, and the uh, Domain name is a face, right? So think of it like this. This is a face, right? This is a face and this is a body, right? So when you see this face, when you see this face, then you know know who the, the person is, right? Because um, people are recognizable by their face. So you think that you could just create a, a new face and then just attach the new face to to a person like this. But you actually you actually can't. That's kind of doing this is actually kind of like, uh, it's like taking, it's kind of like you want to, you want to melt a face off of a person and then you want to slap on a new face. First off, the problem with that is that the, if you burn the face off of a body, then the person ceased, ceases to be alive. You basically kill them. And if you try to slap on a new face, the body might reject the new the new face, right? So, let's say the boss this person has um, blood type A, for example, right? What if this new face that you're that this new transplanted face has a blood type of B, right? Then it would reject, so it it wouldn't work. So that's what I mean by um, it can be just adding a new domain name to a web host can be pretty difficult. So 
this is the web host, right? So if you go over to, this is inside of the web host. If you go to PHP my admin, this is a database, right? So the database, inside of the database, there's a whole lot of values. And the database, if you just click into one thing, for example, you'll notice that over here for site URL, it, it says the website name, right? And so this whole WordPress is baked in with, is baked in with this, uh, this dom this domain name. So back to the body analogy, it's kind of like, um, slapping the new face on the, on the old body doesn't really work so well because, uh, what you call it? Because this, this person's cells don't match this person's cells. So if, if you try to slap this face onto that body, um, th these, the cells from this guy and the cells from this dude, they're not compatible. So it can be pretty difficult. So one of the easiest ways if, if to, uh, right. So what I'm saying is that this whole entire, uh, WordPress is infused with this li jonathancom um, name. So basically you need to, if you want to change the domain name, you want to make sure everywhere within all these files where it says li-jonathan.com, you need to replace it with a new domain name. So let's say this is the new domain name. And that can be quite a hassle. And as well, um, going back one level above over here, you would need the web host as well to change this name from whatever it is to your new domain name. So one of the easiest ways um, to get this going is to get some assistance from actual people. So go to open a ticket and then you want to contact the web host and you can say, Hey, support team. Um, how do I change my domain name? Or, um, I, uh, I'd like to change my domain name, uh, from original name, name. So let's say it's the original name is going to be, I want to change from the original name to, uh, so I want to change the original name to the new name. How would I go about doing this? Thanks. And then your name, right? So you want to send a message to support, make sure they know that, um, make sure they know that you want to change the domain name. This is, um, okay, this is assuming that, uh, assuming that you still want to use this backend, right? So basically what you want to do is because, um, this is what's happening, right? So this is the domain name and this is the backend, right? So this is IPX core. So if I, if I bought this domain name, if I bought this domain name and I want to get this domain name to point to IPX core like this, then I better tell, I better tell these guys right here. Um, I better tell this, these, the support team from these guys that, Hey, I want to take this. I want to replace this domain name with this domain name just so that they, they know about it and they're, and they're ready to, they're ready to accept. So that's why it can be a good idea to, uh, to tell the support team. Now, if you don't like the, if you don't like this, um, backend, you can, you, you can change a different backend, right? So this is a new backend. Maybe you don't like IPX core. Maybe you want to use like godaddy.com, right? So godaddy.com, or you want to use like hostgator, um, dot com or, or just some other, um, just some other um, backend, right? Some other website, some other uh, backend, right? In this case, um, if you want to use some other backend and you want, so if you want to change the backend and the front end, uh, like like this, then you don't need to tell IPX core. Then you can basically just take this chunk over here and migrate it over to here. And if you want to know how to migrate a uh, migrate a WordPress website to a new host. Um, which changes the domain name as well, right? So this kind of video, it basically allows you to do from this to change to 
um, changing both the domain name and the back end. Or if you want, you can also change it to like this. Uh, but yeah, so if, if, so how, how, so the recap, um, if you want to change the domain name to a different domain name, make sure you let this guy, let the back end know about it. And then they'll guide you through the next steps. And if you want to create a whole different domain name here and then create a whole different, uh, a whole different back end, all right, this is a different back end. Like you want it like this, then check out the migrate WordPress site to a new host, as well as if you want to, as well as if you want to do, uh, this then you will also want to check out the migrate WordPress website to new host. But in this case, if you just want to change your WordPress domain name, just make sure you let your um, back end know about it. And then they'll guide you through. So that is how you change your Word, uh, WordPress website domain name. Thanks for watching. If this was helpful, please subscribe. And if you need extra help, visit askquesty.com and send us your questions.